Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be looking at how to find the equation of a tangent line using the derivative. So we've already looked at what differentiation is and we've looked at how the derivative is just a separate equation to this one shown by the symbol y dash or dy on dx or f dash x all of these mean the derivative, and we know that that is used to form a separate equation that helps us find the gradient of that tangent at any point on this line. Okay, so what's our first step? Well, we know that the tangent line is a straight line. So we know that our first step is going to be to use the point gradient formula because that will give us the equation of a straight line. So we know the tangent line can be found using this formula, y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. And we know that the parts we need to find in that are just the y1, the m, and the x1. And when you get a question, you're always going to be get given one of these coordinates, the x or the y. So in this question, when we have y equals x cubed plus x squared minus 2, let's say we have to find the equation of a tangent line at x equals 1. Well, to start with, we're going to find what the y-coordinate is when x equals 1, because that's going to give us our point. We need to find our point, which is x1, y1, which is here and here, and then we need to find a gradient which is going to be given to us by the derivative at x equals 1. So our first step here is to find this point. Well, we know what the x1 is. So the x1 equals 1. And let's find what the y is by simply replacing x with 1 in our normal equation. We haven't differentiated this yet. We haven't formed a derivative equation yet because I'm not finding the gradient yet. I'm just finding the point. I'm just finding the coordinate of this point. Okay, so what we do is we just go y equals 1 cubed plus 1 squared minus 2. And we know that that is going to equal 1 plus 1 minus 2, which equals 0. So here we get y equals 0 and x equals 1. So we know that our point here is 1 and 0. Great. So that's our point. We have now found our x1 and y1. And now I need to find our gradient, our m. And we know that that is just given by the derivative. So I could write y dash instead of m here. Okay. So what is y dash? Well, we have to first... Our next step is to do this gradient. So... This was step one, which was to find our y-coordinate. And step two over here, and I should take away this one here, find the point, then the gradient. And we know that our y, if our y equals x cubed plus x squared minus 2, then y dash is going to equal, remembering how we derive or differentiate an equation, is to bring this indice down and minus 1 each time. So we get 3x squared plus bringing the 2 in front. We're bringing those down here. And then minus in 1 and minus in 1. We get 2x to the 1. So I won't, I'll leave that there, but you don't need to write that. And we know that the 2 does not have a derivative. So it's just minus 0. So I don't have to write that. So I'll just rub that part out. Okay, so now we've got our derivative function, we need to sub in the x equals 1. So I substitute x equals 1 to find what the gradient is. So instead of y dash, I'm just going to write m, because I know that y dash is the same as m at this point. So the gradient in x equals 1 is going to be 3, 1 squared plus 2 1, which equals 3 plus 2, which equals 5. 
Great, so now I know that our gradient equals 5. And I know that our point equals 1, 0. So we use the derivative to find the gradient in our point gradient formula. So let's go back over here. Step number 3. And let's just replace these values of y1, x1, and m with our point and our gradient. So we know we have y minus 0 equals 5, which is our m, x minus 1. And to show you there, I have replaced this, this, and this, like we said before, with the points x and y and our gradient, which was using the derivative. Okay, so now we just finish solving this equation and we're going to leave our answer in the general form, which means we're going to have all our terms on one side and the right side equals zero. And we want our x term to be positive. So let's expand the brackets first of all. y minus zero is y. This equals 5x minus 5. And I'm going to bring the y over here because we want the x term to be positive. Because that's plus y, we know we have to minus y over here. So I'm going to rewrite this as 5x, I'll cross that out, minus y minus 5 equals 0. And that gives you the equation of the tangent in general form. This is in general form. You could also write it as y equals something, which would be y equals 5x minus 5, we can see here. So this is in the general form, which is what it usually asks you to give the tangent line in. Okay? So this equation is the same as y equals 5x minus 5. And you can do that just by taking the minus y over to the other side to make that plus y. Okay. Great. So this is the general form. This is the point. This is the gradient intercept form where this is the y-intercept and this is the gradient. Great. So you can see here that our gradient of the line is 5, which is what we got in the derivative. And we can see that we have used the points from x and y, which we got by subbing the x into the original equation over here. And that is how you find the equation of a tangent line using the derivative. The derivative is used to find this part of the equation. We can use the point gradient because it is a straight line. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time.